composing gloves here and I'm setting up my vocal chain for DaVinci Resolve. I had my computer hacked, I had to wipe the C drive. It was a giant pain, but it's all been fixed. Apparently there's a scammer going around trying to get YouTubers who specifically do audio with a fake promotion and they totally got me. So that kind of sucked, but I caught it pretty fast. Anyways, setting this up for the first time, and uh, first thing I want to do, I've already got the green screen going and the audio and dialogue is all synced up. We've got some computer audio here. It's like usually a kick drum in this particular tutorial. Kick drum is coming on in. And we've also got, you know, my voice. Um, sort of like just playing. So first thing I want to do is just increase the level of this. Uh, I record pretty soft. Um, so I'm going to right click on them while they're selected. They're, they're grouped together right now. You can tell by these little links. If yours aren't, you can hit like control alt L will group the selected things or ungroup them. If uh, it depends on if they were grouped already, we're going to go to normalize audio levels. Now this is broken. The window doesn't, you can't move the floating window around and this doesn't work. Um, <laughs> it kind of works. Let me show you. So relative and independent, independent, like they look at things individually. Relative is like it treats it as one big audio file, which is what I want. So if you know, I, I, I don't want it to be clipping um, it would, when both tracks go at the same time. So I want relative. I want it to go to minus 1.2 dBFS. So it's dB full scale, which means it, it shouldn't peak. There's all these different like standards, but I'm just going to do sample peak program because uh, it's very fast. And the other ones are, are pretty quick now, too. They, they have improved it. It's just, it just still doesn't work, though. And let me show you. So I have it. It shouldn't peak, right? Because I've set it lower. If I hit normalize, though, look at that. Like so much stuff is now peaking. Like oh. this right here, peaking. Oh. It's different than processing a, a drum bus, especially one that well is not peaking right there. Let's go find another one. I guarantee you some of these high parts are peaking. How you did that. Um, sort of like just go. playing well. And it can be real bad sometimes. It just depends on if I'm talking loud or soft. Like right there, I'm talking louder and we're peaking. So we're going to move our attack back. I So you can hear that. It's disgusting. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit. I, I can't believe this still is an issue, though. It blows my mind. Um, and I'm also going to pull this back so that this isn't clipping. And this is just, um, you know, just bringing it up and... Pulling it back a little. You could also normalize to just a lower level, but just know that it's not going to the level you set because you saw that it was minus 1.2 or whatever I put, and it, it was clearly going over zero. So I don't know what the deal is still there. Uh, hopefully it gets fixed. Um, I know it says public beta, but this has been an issue ever since I started using Resolve. It's been in every single version. So with that set up, let's go over to Fairlight and let's um, really quick take a look. So there's two things I'm going to do to the voice. Some people will add EQ. Uh, my voice actually Play that I talked about earlier, like we're, we're compressing the recording is pretty much fine. Like I don't feel like I need to EQ anything. Um, I might bring out the low end, but that's it. And then uh, we're going to add some compression so that loud stuff and soft stuff aren't so far apart. And so that also when I talk softer, it's easier to hear. We're also going to add um, a gate so that when I'm not talking, nothing happens. So like right here, this would probably be a good test for the gate. Turns on. We'll do it like right here. So let's set up the gate first. It's the first thing in my chain. I'm not going to do any uh, noise fixing. I, I don't I don't need it. So I'm going to go over to Dynamics, VST, and I'm going to choose the Pro G. You do not have this most likely. These are VSTs. But this is just a gate. Uh, you can find any gate. There's lots of free ones. I'm going to set the threshold to be very low. So the gate only turns on. A gate basically says if it's too soft, just stop. Just stop. Just don't make any noise. So I'm going to set this very low so that only the softest stuff gets caught. And I'm going to give it a very long release so that it, it takes a while to activate. The attack um, is how long it takes the gate to turn on. So this should be fine. But we could test it right here with this little piece of audio. It has to be all the way down. And there you go. See how it grayed out? That means that audio is not there. So... I don't have to go around and, and constantly cut silence. And I might move this up over time. I, I got to fine tune it again. Uh, the end when, so if we come from silence and turn on, that's going to be the attack. It might need to be that attack. Yeah, yeah see, that's perfect. So uh, this is pretty much exactly what I want. So we're going to leave it at that. Uh, not terribly complicated. The next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to, before I do dynamics, I'm going to go ahead and do that EQ move. So I'm going to use the Pro Q3 for this, but you just need an equalizer. I'm going to add a low cut. I'm going to make it pretty sharp, like 
48 db an octave. It might need to be that attack has to be all the way down. Just like any stuff that's down here just isn't there anymore. It might need to be that attack has to be all the way down. I'm also going to look real quick and see if there's uh, a spot with some where I'm saying like S's, like I'm saying so much right now, and seeing if that pops out in a bad way at all. Uh, but in general, I don't mess too much down here with what's going on. The S's sound fine and pretty natural to me, so I'm going to leave those as is. And then finally, I'm going to add a compressor. So I'm going to go to Dynamics, and I'm going to add VST. I'm going to add the uh, Pro C2. So Pro C2, fantastic compressor. It's got an auto gain mode. The whole point of a compressor in this case, the reason I'm grabbing it, is so that when I speak soft and I speak loud, they are of a similar level. So this is going to reduce that range so that when I'm soft or loud, it doesn't matter. So let's look for a spot in the audio where I do have an issue. And let's bypass this for now. Oops. Um, let's see here. Where is a spot where I'm soft and then pretty loud? Looks like right here might be a prime target. This like Look at how much variation there is just in that alone. So we'll start right here. Softer kick drums going, and I'd like them to have a little more snap. I might try and adjust this. So you see there's like a big spike right there and another one. I also just personally tend to have like the syllables like ah. Um, I'll sometimes just say those really loud and they can really throw off what I'm doing. So, or at least they, they stick out in recordings. So I'm gonna leave the threshold. I'm gonna bring the threshold down actually. Softer and kick drums going, and I'd like going. them to have a little more snap. I just want to ride right where the levels are hitting. Since my setup is always the same, I don't. I can just set this and forget about it. Softer kick drums going, and I'd like them to have a little more snap. This is our gain reduction. Uh, ratio four is fine. We we could even go a little more aggressive. It's just dialogue, and attack release probably also just fine. Gains on auto. Uh, so without this, I'd have to manually turn it up. Softer kick drums going, and I'd like them to have a little more snap. I might try and adjust this to just push it up. So you see right there, the mic got got pushed down quite a bit. Very nice. Uh, let's hear it right here. Trigger even for the softer ones. And then I'll, I'll have to pay attention to how that changed the... So I'm going to do auto gain. So this is going to automatically apply makeup gain. So it's of a similar level as to before it reached the plugin. Trigger even for the softer ones. And then I'll, I'll have to pay attention to how that changed the... So that's pretty dang level now. Uh, let's hear it before. So here it was before. Trigger even for the softer ones. And then I'll, I'll have to pay attention to how that changed the... Yeah, so pretty mind-blowing. Very trigger soft. Trigger even for the softer ones. And if we turn this back on, trigger even for the softer ones. And then I'll, I'll have to pay attention to how that changed. So now when I sort of mumble to myself, you can actually hear what I'm saying. Because sometimes when I think to myself... I still want that to be on the recording. And so this just makes that intelligible. So I have these set up and normally in the, in before this was all just on a preset. So I, you know, set it up once. Now what we need to do is turn it into a preset. So in DaVinci Resolve, you have to go up to Fairlight. You have to go over to um, preset library and I'm on plugin presets. There's like a bunch of them, by the way, if you want to like see if any of these are any good, but I love these plugins. They sound great. So we're going to go plugin presets and I'm going to apply it to audio one and because that's the, the track that I'm on. But later on, you can like pick which ones you want it to go to. And on audio one, instead of loading one, because there's nothing here, I'm going to hit save new and we're going to go voice processing pro voice voice processing and hit OK. And there it is. Voice processing. And now. For example, I could hit on audio two and apply it and it gets applied there as well, but it just saves these settings and it sounds nice. Something I sometimes toss on here is like an alternate as I'll toss instead of the pro C2, I might do a pro L2, which is a, a limiter. It's basically a compressor. It's like a one knob. Comp it's, it's got a totally different job. The compressor is the better call for this particular chain, but every now and then, just to switch it up, I'll toss a Pro L2 on there. And you can really just squash stuff. If you want a super compressed sound, uh, you could do it that way too. And it'd still be respectable. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's the chain. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about this. And also, if you have any hot tips about that normalization thing, I'd be interested to know if I'm doing something wrong because it, it drives me crazy. And have a blessed day.